Um, interestingly, with with rhythm writing, um, I don't know. I saw the kind of similar errors across every across everyone's homework. So I think I'm going to cover all of those first. So firstly, um, maybe it's better if we take this by step. Step one, use six eight if it doesn't tell you otherwise. Remember how I said six eight is a really useful time signature. Use six eight if it doesn't tell you, like otherwise, like if they tell you use four four or use three four. Obviously, you have to, but use six four because it's actually really healthy. Now, um, the accents in here are. Oh, okay. First mistake that was made in the homework of this one. Two is not a strong beat. Tomorrow, not tomorrow. Right? You you wouldn't say tomorrow I'm going to wash the car. Um instead the strong beats falls on the second syllable of tomorrow. Therefore, two becomes an and a crucis and my is also an anacrusis. Identify what meter this is in. Essentially, how many syllables do how many syllables to take for a strong syllable to turn up? If you think about it, to tomorrow I'm going to wash the car. That that would be triple meter. Every three syllables is a strong beat that turns up. Therefore, we're in triple meter. Start. So in six eight, we're in six eight. Six eight is a really helpful time signature. So we're starting in six eight. Since we're in triple meter, this is your base. Wait, does that, <clears throat> does that know that we're starting on like the base on the this really important? No, I mean like sorry, this is like your no, not as in like the base base. As in like this is like your starting point of no. Uh, I mean, like, this is kind of like the start, because we're, we're, this is a rhythm. It's not, it's not a melody. Mm -hmm. This is just, we're creating a rhythm to this. Um. So, okay, this is your starting, like, rhythm. Because since we're in triple meter. So notice that how 6, 8 can, can account for duple meter, like 2, 4, like 1, 2, one, two, something like that. It can also account for triple meter as well. Like that, and then one more. This is our starting kind of rhythm. It's boring, of course, but it fits. Also, I forgot the end process. That's okay. Um, now, how do the words fit? In? So now we've got like kind of our basic rhythm. How how do the words fit? How, how do the words fit in? So remember, we need hyphens for words with multiple syllables. 
go in to wash the clothes. Your light with a crazy hairstyle that looks like you just went to lunch here. Um, 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 <laughs> I don't know why. Wash the car. Um, and maybe we don't need these notes. You know, we do because my is still another anacrusis. So with my, you tag it on to the second bar because you can't start a new bar with an anacrusis until you finish this bar. But at the end, you can only have two quavers here because the anacrusis went to the beginning. So how I like I like to think like about like this. So an anacrusis is for the purposes of what happens if you were to loop the rhythm. Like, for example, if we just had a two-bar rhythm, um, let's just say, like, in 3-8, we just had a two-bar rhythm that kept looping, if, if you think about it. Dot, dot, dot. It would still have 3-8 beats in the bar where the loops were happening. So that means you don't you don't subtract or add any additional beats when an anacrusis is present. That's why you have to take the value of the anacrusis from the last bar. Um, So this, so that means that this bit has to, oh, I'm sorry. So that means that this bit has to be continued. Um, and then we keep going, matching each syllable to one, unless it kind of takes a bit of natural feel for meter and rhythm to do this. But when you have like, for example, two syllables, it, obvi it obviously isn't going to fit across three notes. So we we put it on the third and then and maybe instead of doing that, we we'll just do and then quadra rest. Yeah. Um, so now we've got a basic rhythm matched with a basic, like basic words. Now, where, so whereabouts is there syllables that are less than the meter? Like what I'm trying to say is that whereabouts in a bar or standard, I guess, accented bit, is there, only two, is there two or four or maybe more syllables? For example, this kind of like little section only has two syllables. And if we come here, we can see that we have three notes here mapped to two syllables. That means we need a tie. Notice that, for example, um, oh, it's okay. No, notice that, for example, doing that, for example, doing uh, wash the so it's tomorrow. I'm going. So this is this is a wrong example. Tomorrow I'm going to wash the. What I've done here is that I've made the. The secondary strong beat. And as I said, that does not deserve a strong beat. So instead, we give that strong beat to wash. We put a tie so it's slightly longer, emphasizing its significance. And then car, <clears throat> maybe we should have a crotchet 
in the quay over here. And now here, very, very, we need a tie there. And then please, F. Um, so now that this, this is still quite simple, we have basic rhythm, basic words, you know, we've got the hyphens there, we have, we've mapped out all the syllables correctly. Now, if you want to add some variety, I suggest this triplet can change into, for example, also, I would, I would actually say that if you did, um, if you did this in the exam, I would say that the examiner would be very pleased. I think that's a good start. And, but more dynamic examiners, yes, probably. Um, they might like to see a little bit of variety. For example, this can turn into that and that. We need to tie that since the syllable that's sung on that note, when it's mapped to two notes, needs to be tied. Can also be mapped, can also be like this, for example. Tie, we need to tie there, because that note is, ma is mapped to this note with, two, with only one syllable to sing across two notes. Even, for example, this, the tie there, you can do this, with two separate ties, because you need to make sure, like, um, you know, this is one syllable originally. This is also one syllable originally. You need two ties across two syllables. Um, basically, you think about it. If you're singing one syllable across multiple notes, the multiple notes that you're singing it across need to be tied, no more, no less. Um, you can also do this. Um, You don't need a tie there. No tie there needed either. Why? Why don't we need ties for that one and for that rhythm and that rhythm? It's because it's the same number of syllables, right? One, two, three. Three notes there, three notes there. You don't need a tie if you're only seeing one syllable on one note. Two notes, um, two notes on one syllable need a tie. Three notes on one syllable need a tie across all three notes. But if you just have, if you have no more, if you have no more notes than syllables, you're fine. If you have more syllables than notes, you have a problem. Um, of course, a, of course a duplet, but that's not going to work in this case. And then there and there, we need three ties with three syllables. Let's let's add some variety here. So to I'm going to choose to replace this triplet quaver with um something else. Let's try this, 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 and this.
Where should I put the tie? There. Because Rho has now been separated into two notes. I'm... Let's replace this with, um, I don't know. Do we need a tie there? We don't need a tie here because each level is still only mapped to one note. Um, we already have a tie there. We can't fix that, unfortunately. Um, my dad will be very pleased. Um, we can still fix something here. Oops. So for example, what if I did a duplet across very, that in and of itself is two syllables. So that means we can have a duplet here. There's only two syllables. We don't need a tie either. Um, that tie is supposed to indicate a duplet, but it's actually not particularly necessary. Does that would probably work? And then finally, a bit more variety here. And we need a tie there. This um, is a bit messy right now. Let's erase some stuff. Stop erasing. Stop erasing stuff I need. Um, oh, it's just great. Okay, never mind. That's good. Um, I just need to fill in the stuff that I accidentally rubbed out. Different. I don't know why. Um, mine is very different to yours. I don't know why. Okay, so this this was what we did, right? So first, we marked the accents, which means like if you did grade two theory, you were to, you were putting like vertical lines in front of each strong beat. Now let those lines represent your meter, right? If you think, so, if you gotta go think. Um, how many syllables does it take for another line to come back on average? Like for example, here to tomorrow I'm going to wash the car. That's three syllables for every line that comes along. It's triple meter, right? So, um, decide. Meter. And use six eight. That means if it's duple meter, use dotted, you start a crotchets in six eight time. If it's triple meter, use that. 
This is why 6A works so well. It works for both triple and triple meter. In 6A, duple would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In triple, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 6 8 works for both duple and triple. That's why. Um, <clears throat> now, next step is to. So once you have, once you've written that down as your basic, as like your basic rhythm, like what I did at the start, you can add variety. And remember the correct usage of ties. So something like this, where all the words are written clearly under the stave, every single syllable is mapped correctly to a word. There are ties for syllables. We're going across two notes, full marks. Um, the one we did before, which just has, which just had like triple, like triple quavers, um, probably five out of six marks, 4.5 out of six, a bit boring, but gets the job done. Um, Maybe let's use this kind of like step-by-step -step strategy to do a, another one. Wait, for the exam, are you going to put in like the words? Yes. So um, exam style question. Um, Um, no, oh, this one had a bit, yeah, this one was all, oh. usually the, it's like, like both. This is like the paper one, it goes right down. So On the exam, it. they tell you to type it down. So like, you write the notes, and then it's, it's kind of like, um, So it's kind of like you have, a, so you have like a stave, right? To write the rhythm. And then you have like a text box below everything so that you can put the words actually in. And then if you want to map, if you want to like put a syllable um, onto a note, you have to click the note and then you have to click the text box showing that like you want to put the word that's under, I don't know. Um, if anyone has logged into the AMV website already, then, that would be quite nice. Have you have you logged it? You logged it. Um, do you have it here right now? Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So write so with, well, like, write the words clearly under the notes and use hyphens for words for more than one syllable. Yeah, that's important. Um. Where were we? Here. Um, all right, another example. So, where do the strong beats come? Traffic lights, traffic lights, red and green. Um, then there's amber in between. What am I thinking? Traffic lights, traffic lights, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, that's good. So, got the accents. Use six eight. Is this duple meter or triple meter? Maybe it sounds like triple here and here, but I, I would argue that it's duple meter because red and green, then there's amber in between. Probably duple meter. We don't have an anacrusis, that's good. Um, remember we had an anacrusis here, we have to shorten the last bar by a quaver, it's, it would have been a dotted crotch at rest, but it's not because um, that the quaver 
went to the beginning. But since there is no anachoresis in this example, it's fine. Um, traffic lights, traffic lights, red and green, then there's anachoresis. Okay. Um, so we have our verse. We have our accent verse. We have our 6A. We know that this is in duple time. So we are going to start off. So this will be our basic rhythm. It's just the basic. So we're going to add variety to it later. Got a minimum there. So while you're writing down the basic rhythm, <clears throat> think about how each note maps to the other, to, to the words. Um, then there's and bro. In the queen finish and double bar line. Yes, I remember that reminded me you need a double bar line to finish. Always a double bar line to finish. Um, in scales, please complete your scales with a double bar line because um, they do deduct marks if you forget to put a double bar line down for the end of your scale, phrase, creative, whatever. So, um, double bar lines, please. Um, so, here. This is our basic rhythm. Now, let's start mapping it to the syllables. Write them down. Okay, this doesn't fit. So, two syllables can't fit under one note. We'll come back and fix that later. So why are we coming back to fix that later? Because later, if we add too much difference at, at the start, there's a chance that it may impact the melodic structure of... Um, there's a chance it might alter the rhythmic structure or something later on because you tend towards to want it to do the same thing. But if what you did at first doesn't work, then it it harms like the rhythmic structure later on and it doesn't sound as strong or as nice. So we're gonna, so we're gonna come along and fix it together once we've mapped out all the syllables. Traffic lights, traffic lights, red, and green <clears throat> then there's m -er 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 Um, okay, basic stuff. Actually, yeah, you know, another alternative to, um, another alternative to duplet meter would have been, for example, um, crotchet, quaver, crotchet, quaver, duplet meter. Also, it adds a bit of, like, accent onto the strong beats because the weak beat is slightly shorter than what it should be. Uh, but... We've done this already, so we're going to stick with that. Um, 
the clutch track, the clutch red and green, then there's amber. Okay. Um but this is basically, but we still have to come back to this. Traffic has two syllables, and we've only mapped it to one note. How do we fix that? Very simply. Crotch it, quaver. If we do the same thing here, crotch it, quaver. Three, four, five, six, perfect lux, perfect lux, red and green. Then there's amber, amber, green. Basically, but okay. Now we add some variety. Look at all this. Look at all that. I want to leave traffic lights the same because it's repetitive here and I like it, I guess. Um, red and green. Now let's change that to, for example, a quaver, full tide. And then here, maybe crotchet and quaver, tide. <clears throat> and green, I was thinking dotted crotchet again with a dotted crotchet rest. Um, there's a lot of opportunity for variety here. I would suggest um, maybe something dramatically more interesting. Remember to tie it. All of them have to be tied because they're all within one syllable. Like, by the way, the, the one we had before, where it was just like dotted crotchet, dotted crotchet, dotted crotchet, dotted crotchet, four out of six bumps. All right? Um, but what about this one? If any of you can get the hang of this, like 10 out of six marks, honestly. Um, this is probably more like grade four rather than grade three stuff where you substitute a bunch of complex notes to make uh, with ties to make something really good sounding. The whole purpose of adding ties across multiple notes is that when you eventually convert your rhythm into a melody in grateful theory, in grateful theory, you have to do like, words directly to melody so when you start when you start converting your rhythm into a melody those multiple notes are going to be very useful because they allow for some very nice melodic patterns and um passing and auxiliary notes which are what we are going to talk about today when we do melody writing um then there's amber mm. And like that. This Full marks. Um, yeah, no, one more. One more. Um, yeah, as I said, this is probably worth about like six to eight marks in the exam. Um, they'll say, they'll say it is easy. They'll say. They'll say. Um, they will 
They all say, no, no, it doesn't sound very right. Yeah, I, I do want to think like it's they all say it is, but then the the meter kind of becomes inconsistent. They all say it's, it's easy to spin, but no one can do it as fast as Jim. Um, it's interesting. Wait, all right. Oh, they all say it is easy. Mm, no. They all say it is no. That doesn't sound right. Um, what do, what do the answers have to say? Um, Um, that's interesting. They, they all say it is easy to see. Yeah, no, consistent triple meter. No, consistent triple meter. We don't need any special accents here. Um, they all, they all say it is easy to swim to swim, but no one can do it as fast as you. Um, yeah, it's good. Um, here it is here. Is an anacrusis on the second line, but no anacrusis on the first line. So that means we don't need an anacrusis overall, but this just tags onto that. Um, does it say to use what time? Oh, whoops. Does this say to use what time? Not the word clearly in hyphen in Choose a different time things for each other. Um, nah, I, I like I like six eight and I want you guys to get used to using to using six eight. Um Okay, accents. This is in triple meter because they all say it is easy to swim. Three, one, two, three, do it as fast as Jim. Triple meter. Um, so that means we use that. Um, in six eight, we are going to start. They all they all say it is. E Z to soon. Actually, no, I want to point out something. So these vertical lines, they're supposed to mean bar lines, but more importantly, they mean they they actually mean that the syllable that goes right after the line is a strong syllable and therefore should be placed on a strong beat of the time signature concerned. So essentially six, eight has strong time signatures on one and four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the lines are more over supposed to mean that please put, um, please put they, say, e, swim, no, do, and fast on a strong syllable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, fast as Jim forgot one. Um, no one can do it as far. They will see it. Yeah, that's right. Um, 
they all say it is easy to um swim make sure you understand that after swim is the end of like the first phrase because it's the end of the first line um you know why they put like um composing a rhythm to uh, c composing um com composing like words to melody or rhythm in anything it's because um music relates very mu music relates very well with literature for a start, um, I don't know if you've ever realized this, but for example, um, you can make very nice comparisons of musical ideas to reading or literature. Like if you think about it, one note is one word or one letter. If you have multiple notes, that is one small phrase. It, yeah. And I also noticed you're a hundred times more serious now than in the orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> well, I also got three videos of the emoji. What? Yeah, I heard of Um, there is, for example, um, there's very nice comparisons that you can make of musical ideas to English words and it's one note is one letter. If you have multiple words or letters, you have a small phrase. At the end of every phrase, at the end of every musical phrase. Is a cadence, okay, a full stop, right? If you have multiple cadences, then you have a paragraph. If you have, a, if you have multiple, um, you guys know about binary and ternary form. So, like the A section is one paragraph, the B section is another paragraph. If you have multiple paragraphs, you have a whole essay, and that is your whole music musical like piece. Kind of like it is your full essay or musical book, and that's that's essentially why um, literature can evoke such musical ideas, because you can make very nice analogies, comparisons of musical ideas to literature ideas. Um, continue. Just listen to this. Please trust me. Please trust me. Please trust me. You're recording. It is us writing. Okay. I used to love listening to In the Hall of Mountain King, like only the like only the last 40 seconds, because I found that it made me write and work faster because subconsciously I was writing to the rhythm. So I started like writing like two times faster and my handwriting got like 10 times more messy. So I would put like the last 40 seconds of the In the Hall of Mountain King on loop. So I would work like three times as fast at the cost of losing my sanity and my handwriting looking completely shit. Okay, what is that? What is that? What is that? Yeah, wait, what actually is that? Wait, what actually is that? On a side note, you know the pizza we had during the break yesterday? We still have 10 boxes upstairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's still like ten boxes. So you guys have to like finish it, like. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Rip. Um. Yeah, I wish they had some more meat pizza. Um. Okay, back to this. Um. They all. Stay... Yeah, there were meat pizzas, but they're only like five, because apparently a lot of parents requested cheese. <laughs> Easy to swim. Now this butt has to go on the bar of the four. So 
that no has the strong being to itself. No one can do it as fast as no. Fast as shit. And we need to end it there. So maybe instead of having that, we have a um got a crotchet to finish. And now there are a couple parts here where you probably should tie the notes. Here, 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 because fast now takes up two notes, but the two notes take up one syllable. And same thing here, and same thing here. And then you can do it yourself, add a bit of variety using any of these different kinds of combinations. Okay. Um, Today she got kidnapped by the parents. What? She got kidnapped by the parents. <clears throat> so efficient. Uh, let's yeah, let's add some variety to this. Um, six eight. For example, um, we are going to do this. Whoever tied, they. Wait, can you um, choose a different type of every for each? Yeah, but I like using 6A. Also, I want you guys to get used to using 6A. Because 6A is definitely the most coded time signature for writing rhythm. It's the best time signature because it works in duple and triple time. You don't need to, um, so you don't need to adjust the notes themselves except tie them. And once you start tying them, you have a lot of possibilities. For time. So that's my that's like my three reasons as to why six eight is a really good time signature. You can do a lot of stuff with it. It works with duple and triple meter, and therefore you don't need to change the notes themselves. Um so they all say let's keep that straight. Um so straight quavers there. They all Say it is e. Let's a bit of variety. It is actually pretty easy to swim. Yeah, I think it's pretty easy to swim. Just add your hand and kick your legs, and you learn how to do. I'm, I'm terrible at swimming. I can't like my um time trial is terrible. Uh, swim. Let's end that on a long note since it's the since we got to start the next phrase here. But um, let's be super creative here. Double tied. No one. Um, let's do something more interesting here. Um, a crotchet and then two semiquavers. Do it as um maybe a duplet here because it sounds nice fast as gym. Okay, um that that right there, a lot of variety, a lot of all the syllables are mapped correctly, all of the 
notes are written correctly, we're following six eight time, all the strong beats are there. That's about six requirements, six marks. Full six marks. Um, five minute break. Okay, I'm gonna listen to the videos. Oh, what? Can you find yourself in there? Yeah. Again, are you sure? Oh, it's very cool. What is the name thing again? Last time you kissed with a mother snake. What is that? What's the matter? I think it's what 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 I'm going to turn the ball in. I'm going to put it here. Please don't be lost. What? What? No, just a bit. Yeah, that is really the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. I can't even want you to listen to it. No. I can do it. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. You want to listen to some of the symphony? Or the symphony? Like, that's the, like, the symphony. I don't have the symphony. Yeah, but, like, the other bassoon that I was with. Um, he completely threw his bar. Like at some know. point, yeah. at some point, he, like during the performance, right? He came over to me like, "Yo, where the heck are we?" <laughs> he, he just lost track of something. What was he playing? But sir, yeah, what part? What? Two. What about you? I, I was, I, I was supposed to be playing two, but then the conductor was like, "No, nah, this kid can't count. Can you play one?" And like he plays two. <laughs> Don't get that. So he was supposed. To he was supposed to play by one, but then he got like demoted essentially. Yeah, it was supposed to be one. They got him ready. So I might have to go on to the nice exam. Denied. So, what if someone made a glory of the first snake? Bum bum. So, I'm using a maple. Do you think. Do you, guys, do you think we have enough time for melody writing, or do you want to do that next week? Uh, this week. Melody writing this week. Because we have 11 lessons. This is lesson eight, and we literally, we've almost covered everything. Yeah. 
We have, yeah. if we do Melody Ryan next week, lesson nine, lesson 10, we have, um, lesson 10, we do some general knowledge, revision, and like binary and ternary form, non form, all, this, all that stuff you need to know. And then um, lesson 11 is mock test. Mock test. Mock test. Mock test. I have like a bunch of examples. Um, you got killed by a XP zero snake. I don't think you got like. Wait, is that Slither or Snake? Snake. Snake. The last XP. Since when did Snake? Since when was Snake a multiplayer? Is it? Now it is. That's weird. Oh, oh weird. Oh, why? I keep getting killed by like yeah, like the snake. What are we doing? Hmm. Yes, I'm going to. Wait, shall I watch some YouTube? You have one minute. Yes, one minute that can do something. Oh, yeah, that's two mm. One minute counting down. Let's go. I mean, I mean, yeah. We can watch one short. Good luck. What's the short? I'm sure it's just one. What are the people like that? Have this if you can do this. In 10 minutes, we'll use the rest 15 minutes for a good food. Um, ignore what I wrote there. I want you to do it in 6A. Each was faster. We all went there. What are we doing? You are doing this. Oh, um, if you can do this in 10 minutes, we'll, we'll use the rest of the famous record. I don't want to watch what's running through. Yeah. I didn't find myself because last time it's like my team base, my team base, the world. Like every time, the sun was shining and the, the beach was hot, so, so we should all went there. That's what it says, basically. And she does look hot, so. Okay. You'll copy that down first. I'm going to find a good group for you guys. What? I don't have any real class. I'm very sorry. I have it on my. No, she said just, just do just do this and then we'll do a good group. 
Do you have to pay? No, it gives you the option to pay. Obviously, you don't want to pay. Can I copy someone's word because I don't have the word? I, I don't have the word. The sun was shining on the beach as well, so we all went there. Hmm. Hi,
I don't know, so uh, okay, no. So, so we went there for the day. Mm. So I'm gonna start. Um that shiny the tie only goes across there. It only goes across there because the knee goes on yeah. that little. And so, uh, so I just took it over here. Yeah, so the tie only goes over here. Mm -hmm. Um and the so, so we would put the tie there for we instead of all. Because all is a weaker beat, so don't make it take a longer like so, <clears throat> so we or when therefore. I, I would I would argue that because name so we or the, therefore the, the, the. yeah so I I would say like instead of putting it there there so we or went there is there a there I think I think it was a there. yeah so we all went went there um for the day. Yeah, so um four on that note for the um uh, yeah it's an increase so um one two three four oh we can fix that um then we go so dotted crotch it then you go Um, yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. Um, you can have some writing for that, but that would probably get you like five mark, five or six marks. Or uh, five marks. I, I, I would give that five marks. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's a bit boring. There's not a lot of variety, but it works. It's so, do you want to try and put variety? You have a bit of time. Does the other principles have only one level? Could it be like two scenes? Um, so the rule is, um, <clears throat> you can have more notes than single <laughs> level, even that they are tied. That's allowed. More, more notes than syllables is allowed, but more syllable than notes is not allowed. So that is the only thing to watch out for when you're adding to the right. I guess it yeah, you that. Notes, what's the thing? Notes are more than or equal to stage. That's the first thing.
and the um, open border to community to um, you can I just make sure to type. Yeah, so two seventy five percent. You can go. Yeah, it's already pretty good. Wait, you can just it up. Mm -hmm. We'll set it up. I think we're going to do it. Um, what is it? Now? So, what if someone took off the double bar line? Minus one. Well, I haven't got the double bar. Minus one line. <laughs> Do you want to do the paper now or you want to finish this question? Okay. Laptops. What if what if wait, what's his name again? This is his name like um is it his name Lucas or something? Lucas. Yeah, it's Leon. What if he said if he wants to do it? Yeah. Lean, please refrain from putting a sussy name. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. Uh, that has a great and other and other answer. Oh no, yeah, the lungs. Green and Albert Einstein there, so wait is, is something at you or <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I've got something different. <laughs> Who's that? It's black. Sea dry. What is that? Chicken legs. I've got. Oh, wait, no. I'm not. What's the one in here for? I am not sauce. You're not why? That's very funny. That's very funny. Oh, I'm still gonna do this um, a lot. Only one that I use the demo guy. There was something like um. There's um there used to be this kid in my class who would always put something like mildly inappropriate as his name. Like one time he would like to put um Swear. a gay person. So um no, because the but the funny thing is like he always does this kind of stuff. So when so when he is so when when he is in seventh place or something, it would say, um, you were overtaken by a gay person. Or you are uh, you are ten points behind a gay person. A lot of people always come up with absurdly random names. <laughs> um, this is major keys, by the way. They're all they're all major keys. So that means you have to identify your key signature, know what scale it is, know what key it is, and then know what trial it is. Mm -hmm. 
So these are all in major keys. So you're given you're given the key signature. You need to you need to know what key you're in with the key signature, and then you need to know um what tried it is in relation to that key. And I think there might be a couple of first inversions here. Why the So chord one is tonic tried, chord four is sub dominant, and chord five is dominant. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who who is T? Oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is all of your mom? It looks like your mom. <laughs> Yes, I'm not even. I'm really tall. Yeah. I'm so good at this. Right? <laughs> so your friends call you T-Jar? Yeah. My friends call me that. Do you need some relationship counseling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't get it, Ma. I don't care. Um, I am going to know. This is all about kind of knowing your keys and keys. So careful. Oh, what? 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 No, 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 look. This is this is E flat major. This is E flat major. Three flats. E flat major. And it's it starts on B flat, so it's a chord five. Do you have to remember how to Yes, 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 and yes. But I'm still flat, so I don't say. Please memorize your key switches. It's extremely important. Okay, that's right. Two, one, two, two. Yeah, in English, I'm very good at living. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so what? No, baby, just chilling. Yay! Slow. Good guy. Good guy. I'm like, no, baby. No, baby. <laughs> it doesn't matter. 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 It doesn't you might have the high. You might have the Oh. Was three. Um yeah, this is um this is C major, so um chord five. She's She's um, 
Pretty good. Clear I mean, of some nerds is back in the game. I'm not stuck at all. I'll just do that for She's always her stuff. Oh, what a minute. That is why my friends call me for stuff. Got him. Go I'm not sus. Uh, uh, as a I don't, I can't type it, but I'll be sus and I'm going to write it in the back. Stop dressing the best bit. Everybody down. I got it wrong. This is B flat major, and that's E flat in B flat major. Yay! Ooh. Very good. I'm not. Wait, this one I just go 6994. No! Oh, 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 oh. So everyone here is doing the grade three exam, apparently. But tomorrow, since there's no anymore, just since, since there's no more band practice tonight, um, since there's no more like rehearsals tonight, can you make sure you log on to your MEB exam dashboard, open a practice exam, and um, you know, get, get any questions that you can do done. And then Greatness. the practice exam allows you to quit out of it and come back in later. So um, do all the questions you can. Leave the creative, leave the terms. Um, you can leave the transposition if you like, but please do the keys and scales, the chords and cadences, the intervals section, and um, all the stuff that we've learned already on a practice exam. Can you please screenshot the creative section, the transposition section, and um, send it? by Google Classroom. So basically your homework is just complete a practice exam without the creative section or the general knowledge section. Okay. And the creative section, um, <laughs> so once, you, once you've once you done the practice exam, um, put, oh once, you've done the, once you've done the practice exam, put two screenshots of the creative section questions on Google Classroom and then Hit submit essentially. I, I just want to see the creative questions. Oh, yeah, Leon. Yeah, Leon. Like, Leon is like. I'm not going to let you see the leaderboard for the next three questions. So you can have a surprise to see who wins. Yeah, oh, I know. No, but if you're top three, it just says you're on the podium. Okay. Shabby. <laughs> 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 
This is G major, that's a D, so it called five. Oh. I'm still second, I'm still second, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still second. I'm still second. That's fine. Do I think you want to do it? Yeah, I was lonely. Yeah, guys, that was down to me. I was in this thing. Shut up. Is that going on? Yeah. Super nerd. That's what you're talking about. That's awesome. I really like jelly. Now three jobs at home. Okay, I just want to I'm smiling. Ah, we're finished. Um, we're done. Okay, can we go now? Don't be Oh, you put it on.